Okay, guys, welcome to the third section of my uh, video on cloud formation simplified. And in the first two sections, we built a, a, a simple S3 bucket through cloud formation. And the second one, we built an EC2 with a security group. Now, in the third uh, section, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to build a VPC with a bunch of stuff um we have uh, in it uh, first of all through the cli like the way we've been doing in the first two videos and i'm also going to show you how to do it uh through the console okay so sometimes the console is the preferred choice for some some of the architects or some of the developers so um we don't want to ignore that part uh, so let's get started this time uh with the vpc and i have this template called simple uh, VPC. It's a bit uh, more, we're building up on what what we had with the EC2. Let's get started. The template version, which there to say that this is this version of the template, not required, good to have. Description, um, you know, just describing what it is to ourselves or whoever watching the temp, looking the template. Um, parameters, the key name, uh, there's a default, uh, it's a key the, the type is key name uh, default value is entered so I don't have to put this in the parameter uh, I if I didn't have the default I I need to have I need to pass the parameter uh, as the, the of the name key name uh, instant type t2 micro uh, bastion instance type now this is something that I added for um, one step for the a template that's one step further than this i don't want to include this so i'm just going to delete that um okay and resources this is the main part we're creating an internet gateway all you need to do is say type aws ec2 internet gateway properties i'm just putting some tags so that i can identify it easier i'm also creating a vpc uh, type vpc properties cider block 10.0.0.16 slash 16 I'm putting a couple of tags in there um, and while I'm uh, at it why not add one more tag of key of name value of cloud formation VPC okay so we're just adding one more tag um, we're also creating a public subnet one of type EC2 subnet. Uh, properties, uh, VPC ID, we're referencing this VPC right here. Uh, availability zone, we're just hard coding US East 1A because um, you know we know that US East has one to F uh, zones. Tags, um, I have um, network and public. Uh, okay, so private subnet one for our private instance um, we don't have anything uh, new so we're just going to move on public route table this is something new so type aws ec2 route table properties vpc id we're referencing the vpc that we created up here once again tags easy stuff um, private route the same thing um, you know, for now we're just creating our table. We haven't added any routes or anything. Now, gateway to the internet. Um, now, this is the VPC gateway attachment. Okay, so um, we're just attaching the gateway on to the VPC. We, we're not creating anymore. We're, we're referencing the internet gateway that we created earlier, and we're attaching to the VPC. And uh, public route. We're adding. Uh, gateway to the internet um, gateway is internet ID and the route table is public route table um, we're associating the public subnet route table with type subnet route table association property subnet ID and route table ID this should be self-explanatory uh, private subnet association this should be as well it's the same thing now security group we're making a security group that lets us SSH into um, from anywhere um, to the VPC 
Uh, that's be so the security group will be created on this VPC. Uh, we're now finally creating a couple of EC2 instances. Um, properties of ref instance type. If you remember, we had the instance type up um, their default value was T2 micro. Key name, I had my key name as cloud form key. Image ID, this is the image ID I'll be using. Um, network interfaces, um, so I'm, I have device index of zero, associate public IP address true, otherwise you might not get a public IP. Delete on termination, yes, I want this to delete on termination, so true. Now these are some of the stuff that are optional, so just try something out, you know, try deleting, mess up, try to mess some uh, for some stuff um, here and there and see if it works for you. Um, uh, submit ID, uh, we're referencing the public submit that we created up there. Group set, we're referencing the security group right here. Uh, and we are obviously create, putting some tags. EC2 instance 2, the same idea. And that's it, tags. So we have, you know, a bunch of, um, a bunch of resources this time we're adding up um, now you know I'm just gonna uh, try to um, create a stack from this through the console this time okay so because we've been uh, we've been using the CLI to do it and now we're trying to do it through the console um, so I'm gonna go to cloud formation Okay, so I want to delete this stack because I don't want the stuff to cost me a bunch of money. Delete. Okay, so create stack. Okay, so this time we're using the console. And there are a bunch of options. You know, you can design a template. Um, it's, it's this really cool interface that you have that you can kind of like draw on like a graph paper kind of thing like this you know you can um, you can drag a bunch of stuff you know like dashboard and long <laughs> uh, you know I haven't used this as much but it's super cool sometimes just to make a simple diagram of um, you know for example um, in EC2 if you say I want an internet gateway you get that and you know what I like to even even though I don't use this, you know, you can create a VPC, a subnet inside VPC. Now it will tell you that this is um, this is not big enough. This is overlapping. So you have to be, you know, um, if you want, you can try this out. It looks super cool, but uh, you know, I don't use this um, as the, and I, sh I probably should be using this. It looks super cool, but I'm gonna I want to go back and try to just create a stack that I already have. Um, a template for so I'm gonna go back and say create a stack and upload a template to Amazon S3 and um, okay so desktop um, I want to select my file um, it should be on my AWS course um, cloud formation templates VPC and this is the one that I'm going to be using simple vpc.txt that's the one I was showing you open okay so this is going to upload this to one of s3 one of my s3 buckets if not it's going to create an s3 bucket and it's going to use that to um, create the stack so I'm going to have to say the stack name uh, I'm going to say mm, uh, vpc subnet etc <laughs> and okay so in the parameters I want to show one thing uh, so if you followed me what I showed you is that in the parameters if, if you're using the CLI if I remove the default values that are in the parameters then you have to give the parameters after the you know like after the create stack like parameters and you you have to say um, key name you know I mean parameter name equals key name parameter value equals cloud form key now in in the console um, you know like 
I get to choose from my available keys and in here I can say T1 uh, or T2 nano instance for example you know so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep T2 micro but parameters if it, I think this will make it more clearer is that when you have parameters you know and if you have default then by if you just say next then you you should be ready to move on but if you don't have a default this would be empty and you would need to put some value so this is the idea of parameters this hopefully makes it clearer um, that parameters is something that is very useful when you want to reuse a template because if I hard coded the instance type then I wouldn't get this option so I always had to uh, change the template itself which might not be so convenient and uh, might not be a good practice because you might mess something up and had to have to troubleshoot all over again so instead if you have parameters and include default value so you can just create next but sometimes if you want to change the instance type then I can just say t2 nano or something or change the key you know if it's a different um, different key that I want to use so I'm gonna say next um, now tags I'm gonna say name my cloud stack you know nothing fancy next create okay so create in progress and this is the final um, demonstration final no, one that I'll be doing for this one um, and after this I'm gonna try doing one thing before I stop um, and you know check out my other videos um, so you know I, I I will be adding more cloud formation videos let's check the events what's happening on the events okay so route table is created route table created EC2 security group created um, subnet is being created so far so good VPC gateway so far so good okay looks like everything is working as planned I'm gonna keep refreshing like a maniac <laughs> um, okay so I think it should be done anytime now perfect so we see to route um, route table association subnet route association so we're getting one more I think we have EC2 instance are created cloud formation stack is complete perfect so what we can do just to test out our our you know instance so I've, I've made two different instances um, this one in public subnet this one in private subnet so we want to try to log into this one that's in the public subnet so just to demonstrate that this is not a fluke and obviously you know I don't have like a perfect template I just am uh, creating a VPC with a bunch of resources but I want obviously I want this to be working so I want to demonstrate that I can log into the EC2 instance that I created so right here yes and there we go I'm inside um, so this is Linux you name I don't know is it AR so Linux uh, Amazon Linux okay so I'm just inside the Linux um, and that's it guys I hope you understood um, a little bit more on AWS cloud formation it's uh, there's a lot more to learn I have to learn a lot more and I want to show you guys a lot more so keep checking in my um, my new videos uh, I'll be adding a lot more things surrounding you know cloud formation maybe some Terraform very soon um, and CLI and that kind of stuff uh, and I'll see you in the next videos thanks for watching